Are you planning to make your career in risk management? Then FRM, which is Financial Risk Managers Program, is going to be very helpful to boost your career opportunities in risk management. Hello friends, hi, this is Ganesh Nai. I help finance professionals and students to excel in their career. And in today's video, I am here to tell you the complete roadmap for FRM Level 1 exam for the May 2025 attempt. First, we need to understand what is FRM. FRM exam or the Financial Risk Managers exam is conducted in two levels, Level 1 and Level 2 by GAR, which is Global Association of Risk Professionals. And this exam is conducted worldwide. What is the format of the exam? Level 1 is conducted three times a year, which is May, August and November, where the structure of the exam is 100 questions, four hours, no negative marking. The exam is conducted in the center selected by the student in a computer-based format. FRM level 2 is almost similar where there is no negative marking and the exam is conducted three times a year, again May, August and November and the structure of the exam is 80 questions to be completed in four hours. So next, let us talk about the fee structure for the exam. Now the institute GAR is basically asking you to pay fees in two formats. One is an enrollment fee, second is an exam fee. Enrollment fee is around 400 USD, but for the exam fee, they have given you two options. Either it is early bird or standard fee. If you registered in the early bird section, then the fees for you is around 600 US dollar. If you pay in the standard fee window, then the fees is going to be $800. And similarly, if I'm going for May 2025 exam and I am registering myself in the standard window, then the total fee for me would be 400 plus 800 that is 1200 dollar 400 is the enrollment fee 800 is the exam sitting fee and the total fee becomes 1200 dollars now friends over here the enrollment fee has to be paid only once that's a one-time fee if you could not clear the exam you just have to pay the exam fee and suppose if you go to the next level which is level two you still have to pay the exam sitting fee what is the curriculum for the exam for frm level one you have 62 chapters as per 2024 syllabus divided into four books. The first book, Foundation of Risk Management. In this book, the institute is basically trying to teach you the basics of risk management, how companies analyze the risk, what is the basics of portfolio management, and they also want you to learn from the mistakes and the fraud that have happened in the banking sector in the past. The second book is the quantitative analysis, where the focus is to give you the basics of statistics, because when you're into risk management, the statistics is widely used. Book number three is Financial Markets and Products. In this book, you get the entire understanding of different financial products like futures, forwards, options, swap, FX. And they also try to give you the idea about different types of financial markets available in the world. Book number four, where the focus is on valuation and risk model. So in this book, the institute is basically trying to help you understand how to do the valuation of bonds and also valuation of option. Further, they're telling you how does risk modeling actually work? They're going to be talking about VAR and expected shortfall, which are the concepts in risk management. The next question is, who should go and do FRM? When we talk about FRM exam, we can categorize students who are preparing for the exam into three parts. One, who's already a working professional. Second, who's fresher just out of the college. Third, would be college students who are still in their college, which is undergraduate or master's program. Now, working professionals should do it because if they want to move to new areas, like for example, risk management, within that also, credit risk marketers, corporation risk, then they can change their career by completing FRM certification. Next, if you're a fresh graduate and you're looking for a variety of opportunity in the finance field, FRM can open up doors not only to risk, but also into treasury, compliance, different kind of roles. And for candidates who are still in their college, if they can complete FRM level one, this can help them to increase their chances of getting placed as they approach the placement season. Now let us enter into the way of preparing for the exam. And in this, I generally suggest students that they should start early. But why? There are reasons for it. The first one, it gives you ample amount of time to complete your entire coverage of the curriculum, solving of the question bank, and also revision. The next, very, very important, it does not give you much stress in your entire preparation journey and leads to a peaceful clearing of the exam. The third point is that you get more time to understand the complex content which is there in the FRM exam. So always start early so that it can help you to prepare better. Now, how much time do you need to prepare for FRM level one exam? 
Ideally, Garp suggests around 300 hours of preparation. My suggestion would be if you can dedicate more time, you can prepare up to 350 to 400 hours and clear the exam easily. And this 300 or 350 hours should be spread across six months before the exam date. Next, when you're preparing for the exam, choosing the right material is very, very important. There are various books and materials which are available which can help you to prepare for the exam. Now, we're going to be talking in detail about those books. The first one. garp material these material are the golden source for preparing for the exam they are giving you the complete coverage of the curriculum but there is a slight problem the language of the book you might not be able to easily understand okay because the book has been created from the thought process of people who are already working in the risk management space next it is more theoretical and it might take lot of time to complete the coverage of the curriculum if you are going to refer to garp book only Next is BT Bionic Turtle book. The content is awesome, but it is way above the exam because it goes into the detail of the complex concepts of risk management. Now this might help you to clear the exam, but again, if you're not from the risk background, you might find it challenging to understand the concepts properly in the first go. Plus, you might need lot of time, at least 7-8 months to complete the preparation and solving with this material. Next is Kaplan's Wager book. which i have found to be very useful because it concises the gar material in a very very simple and easy to understand matter easy to understand way and if you are a working professional then you can manage your preparation with kaplan swager in a time bound way the next is how should you plan your study for frm level 1 may 2025 exam now students if you are a working professional start out early say around in the month of november and give around 1 to 1.5 hours in the initial few weeks and gradually increase it to around 2 hours every single day in the weekday and on weekends dedicate more time where you can understand more difficult concepts better plus you can also solve the question back for students they can also start out early very small say around 2 to 2 and a half hours per day and gradually move towards 4 to 4 and a half hours every single day to prepare and how they can bifurcate on weekdays they can prepare and read new topics and on weekends they can focus more on solving question bank and solving for difficult concepts when should you give your mocks mock should be around 3 to 4 weeks before the exam where you have completed everything you've solved the chapter wise questions also and now you're prepared to read the entire material in one go and give the entire exam in one go so for that you have to solve mocks before the exam give at least 3 to 4 mocks to get yourself comfortable with the actual exam simulated way and increase your chances of clearing the exam if you want a complete timeline with chapters on how to prepare for the exam then there is a video which can help you next is how to balance your work and study for working professionals balancing both study and work is going to be tough so what you should be doing is start your preparation in the early part of your day say for example morning if you are able to prepare for 1 2 hours in the morning then you are not dependent on your work schedule to come back and prepare again for the exam on on weekends dedicate more number of hours for college students managing their college work projects and with the preparation for exam can become challenging for some time but keep your motivation high focus on every single day preparation which will help you to clear the exam with ease few tips to clear the exam now there are topics which are generally getting tested every time in the exam like for example linear regression hypothesis testing valuation and this models related to var and expected shortfall concepts related to your interest rate fixed income that is f that is widely tested in the exam so make yourself comfortable with these concepts calculation and prepare for the exam i hope this video gives you the complete picture of what should be your road map for your frm level 1 may 2022 exam if you are looking out for free resources which can help you and enhance your preparation then check the description and subscribe to our channel for more such amazing content related to frm cfa scr and esg exam